If you don't believe it, I'll tell you a, a true story, which had been told to me by a great friend who was coming to this country just before the last war. It was here in America, and we had a meeting about in vitro, uh, about um, uh, a testing, about uh, prenatal diagnosis and killing the babies. It was 20 years ago. And after the meeting, it told me, I have to tell you a story. He was a professor of embryology, an old man at that time, and he told me, my father was doctor in a little town in Austria. And he told me that one night in this little town, two babies were born on the same night, and two different families. In one family, it was a little boy was a strong voice and everything okay. In the other family, there was a little girl with a very low cry. She was a Down syndrome girl. And he said, my father told me that they had a very different destiny, those two children. The girl, when her mother had a stroke, a stroke, she was 30. And for four years, this Down syndrome girl was helping her mother and giving her the food. And those last four years of that mother were as good as possible thanks to the dedication of her feeble-minded daughter. And he said, I don't remember the name of the girl, but the name of the boy have never forget it. His name was Adolf Hitler. Uh, this story is not invented. It is really true. And it summarizes that we cannot judge among human life and we cannot condemn innocence. I would go faster, I would reverse the story. Let's suppose by an impossible uh, prediction that it was known that this baby would be Adolf Hitler. No doctor would have been allowed to kill that baby. But maybe we could have educated him. <laughs> then we have to choose. Because we have to rely on some touchstone in which we can be faithful to know that that we could do and that we should not do. And we have something who would tell us what is good and what is evil. And there is one phrase that everybody of us know which could and it is the only one which could do that, tell us, without any technicalities, in every case, what to do. If the politicians remember it, they can make honest laws. If the technicians do not forget it, technology will remain the honest servant of humanity. But if both of them don't remember it, then you would have to deal with a denaturated biology and there would be a very dim future for mankind. This phrase is, you know it, it judges everything and forever. It just says what you have done to the smallest of mine. You have done it unto me. <laughs>